Welcome back to our SketchUp Online. Um, we're still taking a look at our Saltbox project, and this is going to be our video two. In our first video, we went and laid out the rough floor plan for the first floor. Um, in this video, we're going to bring those walls up and uh, continue working on some other things. So let's go ahead and begin by taking our push-pull tool. we're going to take the outside walls and we're going to bring those up eight apostrophe for eight feet. Um, we haven't put in where the windows and doors and all that stuff is going to be and we'll do that later on as we get everything done. Um, we'll go back and put all that stuff in there um, at that time. Um, th for here, we're going. To, I'm going to triple click on this, right click, and reverse faces because mine was all reversed. You may not need to. Um, I need to in mine because um, you can see there's two different sides. There's the white side here, and then there's this gray side. Um, for SketchUp in general, again, that doesn't really matter. Um, it's it's not going to, to, to change anything uh, for anything in SketchUp by itself. The only thing, the only time it really matters is if we take this project and we go to a program like Unity where we're using it as a 3D, as a 3D object. Um, Unity is a game engine, um, so if we wanted to create this and use it as, as an object inside of a, a game or inside of a, a uh, we're doing a virtual walkthrough, uh, a virtual visualization, anything like that, then it would matter. Uh, because in Unity, the back sides of the faces, they're not visible. Um, that They don't hold any kind of um, material and, and they're just invisible. So if, if I would have brought this over to Unity like it was, it would all have been invisible and not, it wouldn't have been used, be useless or useless. So that's why it's, it's matters depending on what you're going to do. Um, for here, I'm going to go ahead and erase these right here for now. Um, So erase those right there. I'm then going to click on this three times. Now you will notice that again, the ground did not did not select because it again is in a different group and it is actually locked. Um, so me triple clicking on this should make only the walls and the floors and everything selected. Right click. I'm going to make this a component. This is going to be first floor walls click OK now if we come over here to components you'll notice that my first floor walls are here okay um, next let's take our rectangle tool go from one side to the other use my push pull tool And I'm going to bring that up one foot and double check that it actually did what I was supposed to. Um, it is not correct. So let's go ahead and go backwards. And let's try that again. Again, to go backwards, it's Control Z. All right, let's. So let's try this again. There we go. So like I said, if, if you do something wrong um, and it's, it's fine, all you have to do is um, double check. So it's always really good to double check to make sure that it's it actually did what it's supposed to. Like just then, I brought this up one foot, but I had it didn't it didn't do it correctly the first time. Um, it didn't click first, so that's why I wasn't sure if it did it correctly or not. So I checked and it didn't. Um, it was actually off by three eighths of an inch. Um, so 
it, it's always really helpful and really in a good practice to go ahead and double check things um, using the tape measure to go in there and to check things, how, uh, make sure everything's correct um, before going forward. For here, we're going to click on that floor, right click and go and make it a component. We're going to do second floor. We're just going to do floor. Then we're going to take that. We're going to take the offset tool. We're going to go six inches. Um, one thing to note, like you'll see that kind of um, glitching like that. Um, all that means is that there's one face on top of a group. So we have this group right here. Then there's this face on top of it. That's all that means. Um, so now that we have our second floor kind of set up, um, there is one key thing is that this top floor doesn't go all the way back here to the very back. Um, the way this works is that we have the second floor here. Okay. Um, and then the roof goes up and then it comes all the way down to the very back here. So the back is that here at the very, at the, um, at the very top of the first floor. Um, so let's go ahead and take the tape measure and we're going to start from here and we're going to go back 14 feet. We're going to create a four inch wall. And then we're going to go ahead and create a, a four foot hallway. And then you're going to do a four foot, four inch wall. Um, and we're going to kind of put that in there for now. Um, we will kind of come back to this part um, there a little bit later as we get the roof and everything. We'll kind of finish up this right here because um, a lot of this would be determined depending on the roof. Um, and what we'll wind up doing is we'll be closing off or opening this up to where it's open below. Um, so that'll be kind of uh, something that we'll add in there at the very end. So next, we'll finish all this up. We'll go ahead and click on the push-pull key. Bring this up eight feet. Triple click on that, right click, make component. Second floor, click OK. So now we have our rough set of walls. Um, in our next video, we will start. We will complete the roof, um, so that we can that we can see how we need to modify this second floor. Okay. For here, for your, your image, we need to take a couple images. So, first thing. We can set that up. We can set that up. Okay. Um, so again, for here, make sure that I can see these numbers um, and and those numbers. Okay, um, it is your biggest thing. If you need to take two, um, go ahead and, and take the two images. Um, but go ahead and save these. 
save this, um, export your PNG, and um, upload that, that PNG. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for part three where we take a look at the roof.